This lesson is going to be on adding integers. There's a couple of different ways we can think about adding integers. In this scenario, I have two integers that I'm adding together. Again, integers are just whole numbers and their opposites. One, negative one, two, negative two, and so on. In this scenario, I have two integers. One is negative and one is positive. In that situation, I can model it using plus and minus signs. I will use six minuses and two positives. So out beside it, I'm going to show what the modeling for this problem will look like. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to have six negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six negatives but I also have two positives. One, two. So when we're adding integers, and, and they're relatively small numbers like this, we can show modeling by showing the number of negatives and the number of positives that I have. Now, this very first negative right here represents negative one, and this very first positive right here represents positive one. And in math, a negative one and a positive one will cancel each other out. This creates what's called a neutral pair or a zero pair. So I'm going to show that a negative one and a positive one cancels each other out by putting markings through them like so. Once I mark out my zero pairs, this reveals the answer. negative one, two, three, four. My answer is negative four. I also want to spend just a moment talking about the rule whenever we're combining unlike integers. And the rule says that whatever the two numbers are there, we subtract their absolute value. Well, the absolute value of negative six is six because it's six bases from zero, and the absolute value of two is two. You can do the subtraction six minus two, and that will get you to four. Our answer is negative because the greater absolute value was our negative integer. So, so the general rule is to subtract the two numbers and keep the sign of the integer with the greater absolute value. 6 minus 2 is 4. My answer is negative because of this absolute value.